Welcome everyone to a new Haptic Composer tutorial. Today we will see how to design haptic for stepping on different types of soil. We will see how to design haptics for stepping on snow, stepping on dry glass and stepping on grub. You can find this example from www.interaptics.com. Let's go. So let's create a new material. Let's call it dry grass. Okay, we go add a vibration and we start from our audio file. Okay, we see that we have uh, two steps here. We see them from the audio. And uh, dry grass, um, this sound is a pretty high frequency sound. So we can regulate our frequency range between 0 to 500 Hz. Let's try to extract a bit more haptic, uh, experience, haptic information. And transient, we can then iterate later on. We can extract it, we see that we have a few transients here and effectively our dry grass, it was a bit higher in frequency, but not too bad. We can go and design it. So what is the most important in, uh, physical interface while walking on dry grass? There is this, we put the feet on the soil and we, and we feel the impact and there is a modulation of a tactile experience due to the dry grass. So it's relatively easy to simulate. So, or at least to give this information, we can have a really sharp transient that indicates the uh, impact with the soil. And we can modulate the haptics by double clicking here and create a, an amplitude, an amplitude keyframes and modulating the haptics a little bit to generate a bit of variability over the um, haptics experience to simulate, or at least to give the idea of this va variable uh, consistency and tactile simulation given by the dry grass that just uh, squeezes. Similarly, we can recreate the second one and recreate this type of variability here. Okay, this is the amplitude, this is the transients. Let's check the frequency. So we see our frequency here. Frequency effectively is quite high because as we saw dry glass has a really high pitch, but for haptics having a 500 frequency, frequency of effect, it's really not the best strategy. So we can reduce it quite, uh, quite importantly and uh, bring it down to uh, here we are around 80, 90 Hertz. So basically um, what we can do, we can do a, a frequency modulation. We can start relatively high regarding our 250 hertz, something like this, and then reduce it while we are modulating the amplitude. Why so? Because we are compressing and we are reducing the energy of the system. So it's high pitch, it's really sharp, and then we can tune it down. Then we can rise it up at the same direction while before the next uh, uh, steps and then pull it down. Okay, this is, I think, a good starting point to test our haptic experience. Let's send it to the player and test it out. Fantastic. Let's now create a second file that we call snow. This is the footstep on, the, on, on snow. So we add a vibration and as usual import our sound. Great. We see here snow footsteps that are longer in time. So there is a more, uh, there is also a really nice modulated event that uh, are uh, probably related to the fact that the snow is uh, sitting under the weight of the, uh, of the feet. So when you want to design haptics, you want to concentrate with one specific physical or at least one specific elements that would, it's the most characteristic and designed around that. So in this case, let's design around the, um, the fact that when we actually walk in the snow, uh, the snow is uh, randomly moving down when uh, the weight overcomes the mechanical resistance of the snow. So similarly, it's a bit lower in frequency, so we can reduce the frequency of our, of our range here. We can uh, arrange from 0 to 200 Hz, and let's leave 0, 0.6 of transient detection, and we see it later on. So here, we have a nice starting point. So the way that we can uh, use to design haptics, let's hide the frequency here, design haptics is that uh, this stochasticity or randomness of the seeding mechanical resistance of the snow, we can give it by modulating a underlying haptic signal with transients. Let's first uh, create a semi-regular 
haptic experience by uh, creating the sort of trapezoid here around the around the, the sound envelope. So this is relatively easy. Let's create again a trapezoid that is more or less the same and uh, almost everywhere. It's easy. We can cancel uh, cancel our um, keyframes just by selecting them and hitting Del. And that is. And by creating a new one, you can double click and create a new one. What's important is that we are well timed at the beginning of the footsteps. So um, the same timing between haptics and audio is extremely important for not having any perceivable delays. And OK, we see that there is our nice modulation on the bottom. Let's go back to the transients, right? To create this stochasticity, we can all superimpose transient to the, to, the, to the effects, but we can also subtract transient by double clicking to the effect itself. So there is as this uh, more, most important um, sound spike that we can leverage to create a, a, this uh, sort of stochasticity that uh, it's uh, present when uh, walking is not because it's absolutely not predictable and it's a part of the of the interesting tactile experience that we as well walking is not. Uh, to remember that negative transients so that, that are high frequency goes to high vibration goes to zero and a contrary uh, you feel them uh, quite differently but both of them are interesting sensation and we can play with them to create more engaging haptic sensation for the user and with the composer you see it's a few clicks away. Let's save this and let's send it to the player to test it out. Fantastic. In this case, after the first step, step a test, uh, it seems that our transients are quite uh, too strong. So we actually see, feel them quite, uh, quite strongly. So we can reduce them to create a more balanced experience by the user so that there is more this small modulation compared to a, a much more prominent shock. So we can simply bring it down a little bit and create our effect. Let's save them, send them to the player and check them out. Let's go to our third haptic material, which is a footstep on gravel. Let's import our audio. So footstep on gravel, let's open it. And we see that uh, our envelope is relatively small because footstep on gravel have a high pitch frequency. So as per the footstep on dry glass, let's leave our frequency filter a bit higher and let's, it's not important, transient detection will rebuild them by ourselves. And let's extract our haptic vibration. So you see that algorithms didn't pick up really well the haptic vibration. Let's hide the frequency for now. So we have this audio envelope in the background that we can use to guide our haptic design. So haptic on gravel, it's a relatively sharp haptic vibration because the interaction is relatively uh, short. So we can create this, uh, uh, let's say these triangles for haptics effects. We, we will go and modulate with uh, transients to generate this uh, uh, fast changing haptic experience. We can add then new transients and we superimpose to the audio and in this case, we can create a bit stronger sensation compared to the snow because uh, it's faster the gravel and specifically uh, it's meant to be a bit more prominent because we have these small rocks that are moving under uh, the feet. So as usual, as before, we can use the positive and negative subtraction to create the haptics, but it's always super important to be uh, relatively well-timed over the uh, over the, uh, the sound. This is a relatively good starting point. Let's check the frequency here. Frequency is relatively uh, uh, low, and I think it's relatively fair because we don't have a lot of uh, a lot of modification of the haptic effect. And we can go and test it now. Let's send it to the player. Fantastic. This seems relatively well uh, well feeling so we can close here this tutorial so please join our discord uh, there is a uh, people like minded like you that are interested in haptics and haptic design you can interact with us and you can give us feedback on what you would like to see in future tutorial for how to design haptic effectively for games thanks a lot and uh, see you next time